slated in the books tonight. Here's the first. This should be fun to see. The last time we watched this fighter, he had a knockout that was one of the best of the year. Now he's back looking for more. Well, that's why this place is crowded. They're standing room only. Everybody wants to see that. Bad intentions, the scouting report is an easy one to read. Three letters, J-A-B. Yes, sir. And that's exactly what he's doing. He's jabbing in his way, and I don't mean talking. Yeah, I mean throwing that stiff lead hand out into his opponent's face all night long. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Bad intentions. His defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. So, Teddy, here we have a power puncher against a fast and speedy fighter. What are some of the first things you look for in a matchup like this? I'm looking for the fast guy to stay on the outside. When there's distance, you can use that speed. You don't want to be cramped where the other fighter can use his power. Able to dismiss it. Good, strong combo. Bad intentions is able to land a nice, clean left hand. Blocks the headshot. So many times you hear of an early round where they're just feeling each other out. No way. Not these guys. Straight to action. Well, if they can keep this up, they're both going to have headaches, but we're going to have a special one on our hands. No, he missed that right. And he's holding. Clicks of the talk. Oh, and he comes back with an uppercut there after getting hit. So the round comes to an end. Joe and Teddy here ringside, and we've been enjoying sitting ringside because, Teddy, I know you have some of your fine guests from the Dr. Theodore Atlas Charitable Foundation with us here tonight. And they're having a great night, and it's great to have them here. The thing that I want to say is thank you to all the people that help us help many. They trust us. They allow us to be the middleman to give out the resources where they're needed. Thank you for mentioning, Joe, and thank you to all the people that help us do what we do. He just missed that shot up top. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Now that backhand, the straight left hand, scores well for him. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Good fundamental work, landing the one-two there. Hard to believe they can still give like this in these final moments of what has been a sensational round. I feel like I'm back at the... That was a left hand that came raining in on him. He does not look good right now, expecting the clinch. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. So in this kind of situation, it's kind of like a wounded animal. Yeah, you can go after, but you better be careful because he'll strike out when you don't expect it. A little head hunting with the right. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Nice block. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner peg. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happens. So, you know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive you know that he had a good round took a shot now he gives a left scored well up top gotta try to do better than that he missed with that hook 
Comes with the right. Very precise double jab by bad intentions. Still not moving enough. Halfway through this round here. I like the way he went up top that time with the hooks. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be on it. Oh, he gets hit by a left hand that he had no clue on. And he just holds on there. Bad intentions is showing you a little defensive skill there. And they'll move away from that punch. That's a forceful two-punch combo by bad intentions. Good return fire that time. Keep going. So three rounds are in the books here. Bad Intentions is up two rounds to one on Teddy's scorecard. Punch stats don't always tell the story, but in this case, he's been the busier man, throwing more punches. Yeah, but he's also had to do a lot more work just to keep his opponent off him, just to keep him defensive. Does that hurt him as the fight goes on? I'm wondering what the opposing corner is going to do here. They got to their man earlier. They were able to rock him. And really, nothing's changed. He's showing them the same exact look, the same exact style that he came here with. Well, first of all, the opponent should keep doing what he's doing. You know, you're landing, you found something that's working, stay with it until he changes. See, that's what you want from his left hand. That's exactly what it should be doing, that left hand, by bad intentions. Bad intentions has got that catch-me-if-you-can kind of attitude. He's almost daring his opponent at this point to try to land a headshot. But his movement's been so good. His defense is just supreme. Yeah, it is. He's moving from the waist. He's slipping the straight shots. He's weaving the hooks. He's doing a real magical job in there. But his opponent is making no adjustments at all. Well, you could see what he wanted. Oh, and there you go. What a hook to the body. And he is down and in bad shape. One, stand up. Two, three, four. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Good fighting, snapping shot by bad intentions. Bad intention scoring with that right hand. Good looking two punch combination there. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. Double jab right to the face. So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself a bit. Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something either bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Bad intentions is coming out here after being knocked down in the previous round. How important is it for him 
to be cautious here, to make sure that he does have his legs underneath him. You know, it's a little bit of a double-edged sword there, Joe, because if you're too cautious, hey, your opponent, he reads it. You're not in that ring alone, you know, and then he's going to get more aggressive. So you want to go out there, maybe feign him a little bit. Let him think you're okay. Let him think you want to go after him. Let him think you want to engage a little bit and then wind up boxing, staying on the outside, buying some time. Nice work. Great technique. The combo lands. Able to land the hook to the head. Good flush shot upstairs. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wish, the old great Willie Pet. Made him miss, made him pay. Looking right hand after he got hit. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. The combo lands upstairs. Blocks that punch. Bad intentions is just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. And once again, he returns fire up top. Bad intentions is almost out of it there. He was stunned. All right, Teddy, let me put you back in your old job here. You're going to be trainer here. Now, we're just coming off of a round there. We're clearly, I think he won the round, but it's a close competitive fight that your guys probably win. Yeah, I know what not to tell him. I'm not telling him he's winning. That's what I'm not telling him. I want to make sure that he keeps his edge. You know, he stays smart and everything, but the only reason that I think he's up is because he's keeping the punch output, he's staying sharp defensively, you know, he's still attacking in the spots that he should attack. I want to keep it that way. Three punches land in succession by Bad Intentions. Away from the inside. Bad Intentions is leaving himself wide open there. You just can't do that. Well, you can do it, but you're going to get paid. You're going to eat some leather. You're going to get punched in the mouth. That's going to happen. Turns fire with a left. And now you see him scoring well with the right. Hold on to him. Works the body. Uncle Mo has come to visit. Momentum is now on his side. That's why you can't let go of that. Oh, he is stuck. He could Oh, a big shot comes home for him. He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven. I give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. Bad intentions is making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. He got rocked. He just got rocked, and he's still taking punches. The only way right now is to grab on a little bit. Stop this flow. Off to the side. A little swing and a miss going upstairs. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself a bit. Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something even bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. 
as we start a new round, I pose this question to you. Is there any hope for him? He's look, been knocked down numerous times. Look, there's been great comebacks in this sport. There's always hope. You don't know how deep a man's reserve is inside their soul, inside their mind. But dangerous grounds now to find out. Well, sending more than one at him now, the combo to the head. Good block by bad intentions. Doubles up the jab. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Bad intentions is being damaged right now. Punch after punch is coming in. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Well placed double jab. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Bad intentions is a seasoned pro, and old pros tend to fall into the same pattern. Nothing has changed with him stylistically since he's been knocked down. This well, that falls right into that pattern or that cliche where old dogs can't be taught new tricks. Well, right now, he's going to have to come up with a trick or two, maybe, to survive this moment. Nice work with the combination by bad intentions. And that's the end of round seven. Fight from the center of the ring, okay? Keep your hands, all right? You have to keep go. Teddy's scorecard through seven rounds. He's got a commanding lead right now. He's just been the more effective guy, Teddy. I love what he's doing. He's picking his spots. And when he does throw punches, they are purposeful. Yeah, they are. He's making everything count. As you said, he's got a reason for everything he does in there. And that's because he's calm. See, that's a talent, too. We always look at the other talents that are easier to wrap our minds around. You know, power, speed. But what about being calm? Where you can see things. 